Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be reading Shy Willow by Kat Min. I thought this, I picked this up from the library and I thought this was a really cute book. So, we're going to be reading it together. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and to hit the notification button so you don't miss out on any new videos. And make sure to like, like this video. Let's get started. Shy Willow by Catman. There once was a rabbit named Willow who lived in an abandoned mailbox. Willow didn't like being outside very much. She preferred being inside in her home where it was cozy and quiet, just the way she liked it. There's a little abandoned mailbox. She almost got hit by the soccer ball. Oh no, her drill's caught on the car. And there's her running back into her little mailbox. Okay, keep eating. One day, a little blue envelope fluttered into her home. Someone must have thought this, that the mailbox still delivered letters. She's writing in her journal. And there's a little blue letter just fluttered in. It said, Dear Moon, it's my mom's birthday tomorrow and I was hoping if you're not too busy, could you shine your biggest and brightest at midnight for her special day? It would make her very happy. Yours truly, Theo. The Purple House on Etrus Street. What a thoughtful birthday gift, said Willow. The letter had to be delivered to the moon. But how? There's the cute little letter. She was reading the letter. She needs to figure out how to. Let's see if she figures out how to deliver it to the moon. Okay. Willow could never do it. Could she? Thump, thump, thump. Willow's heart beat faster. As the sky dr drimmed, the moon slowly shimmered into view. It was so, so far away. And she couldn't scam her back if she was scared. Like I only have peoples. Okay. I just have a really bad camera. So, don't mind me. Okay, anyway. It made her sad to think about Theo and his mom waiting and staring at the dark, empty sky. If someone had to deliver the letter to the moon by midnight, she knew it had to be her. Theo and her mom and his mom. And then there she is, scurrying back, and scurrying off to the moon. Outside was big, tall, and scary. Willow's knees trembled as she stared stared at the moon in the sky. Maybe if she jumped high enough, she could reach the moon. She was a rabbit after all, but the moon was too far away. Willow wondered if she could climb her way up to the moon. She found the tallest mountain and began to climb it. Every time she slipped, her heart fell into her stomach. Every time she slipped, her heart fell to her stomach. When she finally reached the top of the moon, when she finally reached the top, the moon was still far away. Climbing up. Moon. 
money is still too far. Will she ever get to the moon? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. It was getting darker. Willow longed to run home, but she shook the thought away when she remembered the little boy and his litter. As Willow walked past a tall tree, she heard baby birds chirping in their nest above. Willow climbed up a tall tree and hid inside a nest. She waited until a large bird flew past. Willow jumped. This page don't got no more, don't got words, but it's a really pretty rainbow bird. There's Willow. He has a little crown. That's cute. Willow held on tightly. She could barely keep her eyes open. The bird swayed and a big gust of wind blew towards them, throwing Willow off the bird's back. Willow fell down, down, down. Oof. Feeling lost and tired, Willow sat in a small grass area surrounded by trees. It was comfortable and reminded her of her home. Look at these cool drawings. Here's a picture of trees and willow, flowers and acorns, a boat, the night sky, pencils, a sneaker, some people, a cup, and a picture of willow with a balloon. Out of all things she did that night, Willow took the biggest step yet. Rip. Deer. Tear. Tear. She made... She ripped everything out of her journal. She made a big balloon out of everything. There she goes. Flying high on her balloon. Flying high with her balloon, with her little drawing balloon. There she goes. Flying higher and higher and higher and higher. And looks like she's reaching the moon now. When Willow finally arrived, the moon was sleeping. Willow's heart beat faster than ever. Willow cleared her throat and gently tapped the moon's cheek. Excuse me, ma'am, said Willow. The moon started, stared and slowly blinked, her eyes open. She yawned and turned her glaze to Willow. She is talking to the moon. Hello, I, I'm Willow, and this is for you. She pulled out the letter from her backpack. A letter? For me? How lovely, said the moon. In a quivering voice, Willow read the letter to the moon. How brave of you to come all the way here to deliver this letter to me, said the moon. Midnight, midnight, is it? Well, then... We don't have much time. Come along, Willow. This should be fun. The 
it glided through the sky and stopped just above Theo's house. The moon set Willow down. Willow gasped. Look at the big moon. Theo and his mom saw the moon. The stars glittered in their eyes. The warmth of the moonlight spread through Willow's chest, and it remained there forever. Willow in the mailbox, the big balloon of drawings. Theo, his mom, looks like she's a knitter. The end. And then right here, we got some more drawings of Willow's. It says on the back, it doesn't say anything on the back, but it has a picture of the letter says from Theo right here to the moon. And then a cute little drawing of the moon. Comment down below if you ever felt like you had to go on a big journey just to do something. Just like Willow had to do in this book. To go outside of your comfort zone and do something that you never thought you could do. Well, that's exactly here what Willow did. She went out of her comfort zone to go out of the mailbox and go deliver it to the moon. So, I also want to, to see, I also want to know if you guys can comment down below if you guys like drawing like Willow. Because it seems like Willow really likes drawing. It seems like that's what keeps her com comfortable and calm. I like drawing, but I'm not very good at it. So, maybe you guys are. I'm sure you guys are wonderful at art. So, thank you for joining me here today, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!